I have to make some four patch blocks which I'm going to make out of blue stars and yellow bugs and I use a slightly different technique you could uh, certainly cut long strips using your AccuQuilt Go uh, strip cutter and make uh, four patch blocks or you could use your three and a half inch square die um, and make four patch blocks but I actually use a little different technique I cut strips across the width of the fabric and then I fan fold those onto the strip die so the first thing I'm going to do is that I am going to cut um, fabric, a strip that will go across, that I'll fan fold across the die, and then I'm going to cut the same thing from the blue. And I am cutting this width of fabric so that in my second cut it will fit the die exactly. So the width of the blades across the die is 7 inches. So this is, I'm cutting at about 8 inches, which is probably more than I need to, but um, I wanted to have an ample amount for the purposes of this demonstration. Now the second thing that I do is that I will layer the two fabrics that will be in my four patch with right sides together. So I'm going to very carefully smooth this out and have this evenly layered together with right sides together. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and get my die. Now that I have the die, I'm going to show you how I layer this on the die. I have registration marks at 90 degree angles up and down the die. I don't use any particular uh, distance apart, but just so that I have a number of them. And then I'm going to fan fold this fabric that has right sides together on my die. And I do this very carefully. And this is the three and a half inch strip die because I'm making six inch four patches. And so I layer that and when I fan folded it the third time I know that I already have six layers. So I'm going to use my scissors if I fold it back again like this I can use my scissors to cut that and then I can take the next what's left of that and fan fold it across and it only fan folds across twice I think I one of these fabrics is uh, a very scant 40 inches wide so then that is fan folded twice and I'm ready to cut these strips. So I'll put the mat over the die and I'll get my AccuQuilt Go die cutter. The next step is to cut those width of fabric strips. And so I will run this through. And six layers is always creates a little tension, but it does go through nicely. And then, once I remove the mat and remove the waist, you will see that I have these strips with right sides together ready to be stitched at the machine. The next step in this process is a second cut. 
And what I've done is that I've taken some of these blocks to the ironing board and pressed them. And you'll see that I pressed the seam to one side and that side is the dark side. So these have been pressed to the dark side. Now there are two different ways to do this. So I've left half of these strips unpressed and the other half are pressed. And I want to show you the two different ways that I can lay them out on the strip die for the second cut. The first thing I would do with these that are pressed open is that I would line them up with the registration marks on the die and because my registration marks come out past the edge I can see where to layer these. The most important thing to me is that these seam allowances are staggered so you can see that I would never put one seam allowance on top of another. And so I make sure that these are straight and I lay them in a row down the die and then I put the mat on top and send them through for the second cut. And the result once the waste has been removed are perfectly cut sewn pieces to make four patch blocks. These are absolutely perfect for four patch blocks. Now the other way that I do this I'll take those to the machine. The second way that I do this is that I don't press this open. I just have my stitching line and I layer these again along the registration marks making sure that they are straight and in line with those registration marks. And again I will send this through the cutter. Now the really nice thing is that um, I could sew long strips together but I really like having these size strips because they're so manageable. And I send this through the cutter And again, I have, I'm ready to make finished four patch blocks and they're just perfect. So you can see as I pull these up that these go together just perfectly. As you can see, I have a whole stack of four patch blocks that I've made in this manner. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about the way I do that. One of the important things for you to see is how nice and flat and how beautiful the seams are on the back side of this. And that just means that your quilt is going to be flat and it's going to quilt up and be much nicer. So when I am stitching four patches, I always if this is the area where it's going into the machine, I always have on the bottom layer the dark is toward me. And then, because I've always pressed to the dark, I will have, I will put the top layer with the dark headed into the machine. And I can butt those seams against each other and as the, the presser foot comes against this, it really snugs those two seams together so that you get this perfect match that you see here. And it also means that 
um, all of the seams will coordinate on the back of the quilt and you can always have this nice flat um, seam intersection that you see here. 